Hello ITPC, this is Steve and you're watching Smoking Cardboard. I've been uh, trying to make a video for a number of days. I've been able to uh, spend some time playing board games, which I love to do. Um, and I appreciate that. So that was getting in the way. And then just life stuff. Um, yeah. Plus, I haven't really had anything to talk about that you guys would find interesting. Um, but I was really trying to stay committed, so I am making a video. And uh, I'm smoking in my Vaughn, 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 uh, some GLPs Montgomery. I think I talked about this one not too long ago. It's a uh, ribbon cut. Virginia with a little bit of Kentucky. I think all the blends with some Kentucky in them draw me to them. But apparently uh, blends like old dark fired, I don't. I don't really appreciate so that's kind of interesting this can this blend's pretty good it's uh like a trone uh, from the end of 2019 so I had bought a, a jar at the beginning of 2019 or a two ounce tin I should say and I, I learned how to smoke partly on that tobacco and then apparently I, I bought uh, an 8 ounce big tin. I just don't smoke one tobacco enough to make sense buying those 8 ounce tins. I did it because I thought, you know, it's money saved. But it was really, it's really kind of silly. Anywho. Besides board games this weekend, I had uh, some challenging moments. Uh, on Sunday, we had some um, children with us that we were watching for uh, through the county for uh, one night. And uh, they were just dealing with the uh, separation and different stuff like that a lot of who knows what trauma you know really um and uh each of the kids handled that differently but in turn you know it really it really makes you stop and think uh obviously a healthy home has order you know you have uh uh, rules that make uh, uh, are to the benefit of everyone and um, you don't really realize how many of your rules are not the same as someone else's rules until like when you're a kid you go over to someone else's house I just I remember going to other friends houses we go sit down at supper and no one would talk. And I was just like, what is going on? Is someone mad? I don't understand. Why is no one talking? Because our, our supper table growing up, man, you had to hold up your hand to get a word in. Or other ones where you didn't even sit down to eat together at all. There's supper there, eat when you want. Now, I think you could argue that uh, some forms of structure are better than others, but ultimately, I think there's a lot of different sets of structure that can uh, promote a health healthy family. But I get back to uh, taking care of these children and uh, coming from a home uh, where they have no structure. You really have to 
figure out which structure in your house is important, worth, worth uh, fighting for. Because a lot of times these kids are, they're going to make you fight for it. Uh, not always. Some of them really get excited about doing stuff. Uh, not even knowing they were supposed to be doing. Where others are just constantly reminded how they don't belong here and they want to be, you know, uh, where they're way more comfortable than here. You think, uh, you think what you have is great, you know, and my kids can be really excited about uh, meeting other people and it can be to the misery of someone else. Uh, really hard. There is a uh, something about, uh, yeah, that unity in a house that uh, you really can't expect others to uh, understand or appreciate. And I think we, as individuals, need to be careful to not expect others to appreciate your, your customs your house rules now I don't think it's inappropriate for some rules to be uh, worth fighting for you know now uh, in your home but I think that uh, yeah I think that it gets a little bit difficult making those decisions um, Especially if you really have to uh, fight for them. So all that said, it was it was rough. It was a rough uh, stay. Uh, it was rough knowing when you're making the decision that was right for everyone involved, uh, um, and especially the individual. And uh, I think when you're raising your own children, you're kind of f f uh, going along the way, making lots of little decisions. Um, and we're really quick to judge other people uh, that made different decisions than we did along the way. You know, and surely uh, people are going to pay for the consequences pay for the decisions they ha you know have made whether or not it's uh in benefit or or in uh trouble but uh we're all uh we're all going to be imper imperfect parents for sure uh so it's only amplified when um you're trying to parent someone that's maybe not your own uh, and doesn't understand why any of this stuff is important. Hmm. I don't know that I'm trying to make any sense out of what I'm trying to say. I think ultimately it is, you know, uh, our rules um, should be for the benefit of everyone. And knowing when to forego the rules to the benefit takes a lot of wisdom, a lot of uh, uh, d good discernment that is uh, difficult. And, man, we were really tested this last Sunday of trying to figure that out. Yep, really tough, really tough making those decisions. It was, uh, yeah, just tough. I really like this tobacco. Um, it, uh, has these, um, very tobacco flavor in it, uh, I wouldn't say they're like bready or grassy Virginias, 
Mm. It tastes roasty. I think that's that dark fire that's playing in with these. They said they like treat these Virginias special. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's I don't think there's any perique in there. Any spice I'm getting is probably from the dark fired. Um, There's almost like, uh, yeah, like uh, notes that are within whiskey. Not that this tastes like whiskey. I don't know. I like it. I like it. I think I'm finding that uh, blends without uh, Perique do well for me, though. I, some of my favorites do have Perique in them. But I just find myself to be uh, pretty sensitive sometimes. Maybe it's with a bite or whatever. Either way, I was surprised how uh, dried out this got. I was going to smoke something else. Uh, but this pipe doesn't do real well with smoking something that's pretty moist. Uh, just the bent and all that. It, Even though I have the filter in there, it can kind of become a sloppy mess and trying to it's a pretty tall bowl so sucking the flame down there to keep it lit i thought this was better but i think i'm gonna try this uh a new tobacco i was kind of thinking uh, i try to stay away from that but my good friend adam gave me this tobacco to try and that's what i'm gonna try maybe uh my next video i'll talk about it I just laugh at some of these pictures. Imagine being the person getting their picture taken. Oh, look at that. That's great. That's going to go right on the face of that pipe tobacco. But I didn't get this with <laughs> pipe tobacco. That's all right. I didn't get this smoking cigarettes. That's all right. <laughs> Anywho, I hope you guys are all doing wonderful. I hope you uh, are all having wonderful families and a wonderful spring. And that uh, you're all doing well. We'll see you later. Bye.